pretty so this video is going to be all about a DIY peel off mask that you can do right at home featuring two very simple main ingredients. This mask is going to help you unplug all of that deep down dirt and oil, whiteheads and blackheads clogging your pores as well as remove unwanted hair so if you're interested definitely keep watching. All you'll need is a pack of unflavored gelatin, which you can find in the baking aisle, the milk of your choice, as well as honey and tea tree oil for their added skincare benefits. So all you'll need is two tablespoons of milk. You can use regular cow milk if you want. I just prefer almond milk. And you want to make sure you warm this up for about 10 to 20 seconds because you need the milk to be hot. And this is going to help you activate your gelatin. You'll need one tablespoon of gelatin which works out to pretty much exactly one packet of the gelatin and stir that very well into the hot milk. You can opt to add a few drops of tea tree oil which is great for killing bacteria on the face, disinfecting pores, drying out pimples and it just adds a really calming and cooling sensation on the skin when you're wearing the mask. Lastly, add half a tablespoon of honey, which has tons of amazing skincare benefits. It's naturally antibacterial, preventing acne, and it's a great moisture booster for your skin. Then you just mix the paste together very well. So you definitely want to start on clean skin. I like to use a really, really warm washcloth to cleanse my skin, get rid of any surface dirt and oil and just really get my pores open and ready to receive the mask. So just wanted to show you guys the few problem areas that I'm focusing on to see if this mask will relieve in any way. I have a few inflamed pimples that are trying to surface and I would definitely like to get rid of them before they create any type of scarring or any further issues. So using a clean brush, I just apply the mask all over my face, focusing on my problem areas, as well as any unwanted facial hair. And you definitely want to move quickly when applying because it can thicken and harden really quickly and become difficult to smooth onto the skin. But you can pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds if you notice that does become an issue. But just make sure you're not applying it when it's too hot for your skin. And obviously make sure to avoid any hairs that you don't want removed, like your hairline and eyebrows. So about 30 minutes later or when the mask is completely dry, you can start peeling it off and it is an extremely oddly satisfying sensation, but just know it will hurt, okay? <laughs> It was at this moment that she knew she f***ed up. Definitely fell. But the hair is being pulled out. Oh. <laughs> Done. About the pain. Here we go. Uh oh. Just trying to power through it. This would got for life. Hey guys. It's 
so definitely a very dramatic experience for me. I did notice immediately after removing, it looked like it had pulled out deep down makeup from who knows how long ago. It really just looked like I used the mask as a makeup wipe, so that was really interesting to see. And your skin just feels absolutely baby soft. The texture was definitely a lot smoother and almost looked airbrushed and poreless. I noticed that I couldn't feel any raised bumps as I ran my fingers over my face, almost as if the pimples were deflated. So I will try showing you guys some close-ups, which is a little difficult since it's a translucent color, but hopefully you can see some of the little nasties and hairs that were pulled out, and I would definitely say it's worth giving this mask a try every now and then as an addition to your skincare routine and if you do let me know how it goes thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my very next video bye pretties